Hey guys, and welcome to this video on algorithm analysis. So here we have our problem. It says, assuming that n has been declared and initialized to a positive integer, we want to write a summation equal to the number of times that j minus minus is executed. And we want to put this in terms of n. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Here we have our code segment in blue. And it says int i, j, in case so we're declaring our three variables. It says for i equals one, it's going to run while i is less than or equal to n, and then i is going to increment by one. Next inside of that loop is another for loop, and it runs from from k equals one. And it's going to run while k is less than or equal to i, and it's going to increment by one each time. So we get our k plus plus. Then it assigns j equal to k, and then within this loop, there's another loop, a while loop, and it's going to run from or it's going to run while j is greater than zero and then it's going to uh, execute j minus minus. So let's go ahead and write this summation. So first thing we're going to do is write the outer uh, loop as a summation. So it runs from i equals 1. So I'm going to put i equals 1 here. And it's going to run up to n. So we're going to put n here. And then within that summation is another loop. So we're going to write another summation and it's going to run from k equals one. And this loop's going to run until it reaches i. So it's going to run i times. And within that loop, we have our while loop. Okay, now this is a little bit trickier. So we want to write a summation for our while loop. Our while loop runs from j equal to, well, let's see, j equals k here, and k is initialized at 1. So let's just look, look through the loop here, um, this inner loop. So if j equals 1, then our while loop is just going to run one time. Um, so then our k is going to increment by 1, so it becomes 2. So then j equals 2, and it's going to run two times. Um, until, you know, our, our J values less than or equal to zero. And, um, then our K is going to increment again, you know, it's going to run three times. So then this while loop runs three times and so on and so forth. So our summation runs from J equals one to K. All right. And then our J minus minus is a constant um, well, it's just a constant. It run, it's executed a constant amount of times. So we just put one here. And then we close our parentheses out. And that's the answer for putting this code segment and writing it as a summation. Now, um, I plan on putting up another video on how to solve this. And I will make sure that... Uh, we already have this summation here uh, to make it go a little bit faster. So thanks guys for watching. Uh, please leave likes, comments, questions. Uh, tell me if you see a problem here. As always, uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.